The independent nation of Borg was a society of individualized Borg drones separate from the collective. Its leader, or primary, was Hugh, a Borg who had been found by the crew of the USS Enterprise D and was the first to discover his individuality and desire of freedom for his people. Hugh rejoined a Borg cube shortly after leaving the Enterprise and attempted to corrupt the collective's hold from within. This was only partially successful. The collective severed all ties to what they viewed as an infected Borg cube and the drones remained in stasis awaiting further instructions. After initially being reawoken and manipulated by the android lore, Hugh took command of his now liberated Borg and worked hard to ensure that his faction was recognized as being different from the collective. But he had little success in his goals. Even the diplomatic Picard and experienced Janeway had difficulty believing in a free and independent Borg race. Thus, he led the nation back into the Delta Quadrant in order to avoid any unnecessary conflict with the Federation. The Borg flotilla arrived in the Delta Quadrant sometime in the mid-2390s. Seeking to establish a foothold in the region, Hugh takes his people to the supposed original Borg planet, Havaranus. There, they uncover the remaining survivors of the crashed Borg cube from 2368, who had taken up refugee there after leaving the Necrete Expanse. You may remember this group as being roughly 80,000 strong at the end of the Voyager episode Unity. However, the Tarkons invaded the Sanctuary Planet and forced the Borg to relocate. Many of these liberated Borg decided to join the Kalar Gestalt, while only 48 of them decided to remain neutral and raise families on their former home world. Realizing that the two factions' goals were intertwined, the groups joined forces to establish a colony and run a covert campaign to restore individuality to the other Borg drones that were still enslaved to the Collective. Hugh and his independent nation of Borg knew this process was going to be slow. Firstly, going against one of the more dominant powers in the Delta Quadrant wasn't an easy undertaking. But more importantly, the process of undoing the physical, emotional, and mental damage each drone experienced was extremely difficult, with often unpredictable results. However, with the inclusion of the Unimatrix Zero survivors and the arrival of the Alpha Beta Quadrant Alliance in 2409, the Cooperative saw a surge in successful missions against the Collective. With the help of Seven of Nine, the Cooperative worked with the Alliance scientists to streamline the conversion process from Collective to Cooperative. Still, the journey towards total freedom was going to take decades, and being accepted by the rest of the Quadrant was going to take even longer. A deep-rooted hatred for the Borg will undoubtedly affect their ability to prosper as a people, trade with other races, and enjoy regular acts of diplomacy. This concludes today's Catracark lore video on the Borg Cooperative. I'm curious to hear what you guys and gals think about this new faction that's arisen up inside of the Delta Quadrant. According to Star Trek Online's timeline, all of the different Borg splinter groups have decided to join forces in this independent Borg nation. And again, that includes the group led by Hugh, the individuals from the Necrit Expanse, and the Unimatrix Zero survivors. They're all operating under one banner now, which is the independent nation of Borg. Tell me what you guys think about this idea. Do you think the Borg will ever be accepted by the rest of the races and alliances throughout the quadrants? Or do you think that they're going to have to just maybe you know, I guess pack up all their stuff and move on to a deeper space to try to avoid being persecuted against and, and uh, you know, being uh, misfairly treated even though they're, they're free now but the negative connotations of what the Borg are and what they've done, eh, you know, they're simply just, people aren't just simply just aren't going to forget about them. Um, I'm also curious to hear what you guys and gals think about the idea of holding the Borg Cooperative accountable for helping rebuild planets and races that the Collective destroyed or severely damaged. I'm curious to hear what all of you guys think about that idea, um, if you think that they should be on the hook for that um, or not. Anyways, guys and gals, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please throw a like and a subscribe up on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at RealCatWalski, and I will see all of you guys and gals next time. Live long and prosper, my Trekkies!